Hi, welcome to Microsoft Front Page Tutorial. In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you can design a simple website using Microsoft Front Page. That will be five parts, and in the first part, uh, basically we will just uh, see what needs to uh, be ready. Now, in order to create your own website, I have already prepared two folders and you should be able to download these two folders from our e-learning website. Um, uh, one is on the resources for building websites and the other is our simple website. So first, uh, let's have a look at our simple website. I click on the index files and then our websites come up. Um, this is the website that we are trying to explore. Uh, as you see here, Internet Explorer stop a JavaScript uh, for so many days. So I just applied uh, the blog content uh, to see it. Now, um, so this is the website we are going to design. And as you see here, it has only components of a normal website. On the, you know, at the uh, top left corner we have the logo and just to the right of the logo we have okay, a very uh, wide area uh, usually containing the title of the website or the title of the company or the name of the school uh, we call this the banner area okay the banner area now uh, going down a little bit uh, you see links to the main uh, areas of the website and we call these the navigation bars normally for a website we have two navigation bar we uh, call that the horizontal navigation bar and the uh, uh, vertical navigation bar now then okay the most important part is the content area where you will see the main content of the uh, web page if you go down to the bottom of a website, normally right at the bottom you can see copyright information with the uh, name of the uh, people who designed the website. And uh, for the technology language teaching course, you are going to put in the name of the course and the name of your instructor, okay, like this. And if you pay attention, you will see on our left uh, side of the footer, uh, there is a script which showing the current date. Um, so in the website, we also learn how to use JavaScript for uh, doing this too. Alright, so those are the major components of a website that we are going to uh, work on. Now, in the resource folder, you should see all the material that we need for building the website. There are two pictures, the background pictures. Okay, we use it as a background for our website, our logo, the logo of our department, and several words files containing uh, the contents for a web page. For example, when you click on study skill, you should see a page showing contents for study skill. When you click on linguistic, you, again you see a page showing contents for uh, for linguistics. Um, you will also see a file containing the JavaScript we use for creating the uh, yeah for showing the uh, um, the current date and time as you see on uh, my computer here. And this is the JavaScript we are going to use. Okay, so that's the resource folder. Another thing that's equally important is that we need to know a little bit about Microsoft Front Page. Uh, as you see here, when I uh, open one of the files in the simple website, for example, the index file with the home page, when I open that with Front Page, you will see. Okay, this is our website. Um, now, um, on the whole, I would say Microsoft Fun Pay has a lot of tools that are similar to WinWorks. So you should see those things 
familiar là from the menu to the tune of course there will be some different tunes but uh, basically there are lots of things uh, that are uh, similar and um, there are the um, one thing I want you to draw your attention to, okay, these are the tabs beneath this. Um, normally, uh, when we design website, we work in the design window or the design mode. If you want to see the HTML code of your web page, you can click on code, and as you see here, uh, on the HTML structures of the page will show up. Sometimes you just okay. For example, when you insert JavaScript, you cannot do that in the design mode, and you need to do that in the code mode. Um, quite a lot of people okay, would like to see their website in the split mode, so that you can have the code at the front and the uh, uh, contents. Uh, yeah, in, in the upper half, and in the lower half, you have the contents. Now, um, the cool thing about front page is that whenever you select something okay, in the design mode, okay, that part you also select it in the content, uh, in, in the um, code mode. So, that will be handy for designing your website later. Okay, so let's do the last thing to get started I'll create a folder to contain your website so i create a folder my website and in my website very important right at the beginning i need to create folder to uh, containing all the files neatly now you are strongly advised to put all the images in one folder all the audio files in one folder and only other resources in one folder. If not, when your website grows to let's say a hundred files, it will take you a lot and lots of time to find those things you need. Right, so I'm just about to finish, but before we do that, we need to copy the pictures and go back to my website, put that in the image folder. Okay, so now we are set for part two creating our template web page.